You know, um, classically, it's understood that there's about 5,000 genetic diseases that have been identified and characterized historically. And now with the sequencing of the human genome, we have the ability to go right down to the nucleotide level and find out what gene's responsible for that disease. And we're left with this potential promise of if we know what the gene is and we know I mean, what disease it's responsible for, can we take that information and use it to go back in and correct these defects? It's obviously being done at the molecular level, so we need molecular tools. And we and others have turned our attention to viruses which have over millions of years evolved a very exquisite way to take genetic information outside of a cell and very efficiently deliver it inside of a cell. It's best illustrated by if you get the flu or something, how efficiently you can feel the consequences of that new genetic information being put into your body. Well, in this setting, we harness this information and we tr use it to carry the therapeutic genes and the viruses play a role of simply being what we refer to as molecular FedEx trucks. They take the cargo and they protect it and they get it to its delivery location. Once the, the gene's inside the cell, it works as any normal gene. It begins to serve its function. So you go from a defective um, cell to a normal cell and then essentially that's gene therapy in a nutshell. We, we've been limited in our ability to explain our message and our technology only because it, there either aren't the tools e easily available or how you get that out to a public setting. Narenzi for us was like a godsend only because I've known for a long time what we've been wanting to communicate but haven't had the format to do it in. And when we were able to go down there and describe our science and come up with these visual uh, illustrations. It took all that complex science and reduced it into something that a, a ordinary person could look at and say, oh, I understand what's going on here. That's a tremendous educational capability because we spend our careers talking to individuals that are at the same level. What we really want to do is be effective in communicating this to the masses and you don't have to 20 hours of lecture time to get them up to speed on all of the jargon of the language. So you need visuals to be able to transcend across that gap. And the Renzi, in our mind, has been a tremendous way to push that envelope so people can come in without a formal understanding of molecular biology, virology, genetics, and still grasp what we're trying to accomplish.